Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of me watching Westlife music videos for the first time for songs I've not heard. As usual, these were all taken from your recommendations, and I am starting off with Home. Another summer day has come and gone away In Paris and Rome, but I wanna go home Be surrounded by a million people I still feel all alone I just want to go home Oh, I miss you, you know And I'll be keeping all the letters that I wrote to you Each one a line or two I love the guitar I did not think the chorus would open up like this. Better sing, Marcus. Are they gonna key change me? They key changed me. I knew it. I knew they would. Okay, to be fair, I didn't actually know, but I just had a strong feeling. <laughs> the song felt right for a key change. Ooh, that song was beautiful and so heartwarming. Love what they did vocally and loved the instrumentation as well. I really took a liking to the song when the second chorus dropped. I just love the way everything hit me at once. And vocally, I must say, Marcus stole the show for me there. But there were some R&B slash gospel influences in that song, so makes sense, you know. That's Marcus's wheelhouse. That's where he shines. All right, next up. Obvious. Yeah. What in the Thomas Edison is going on with these light bulbs? We started as friends, but something happened inside me. Now I'm reading into everything. Sign here the lightning, baby. You don't ever notice me turning on. 
found my charm. Hi, Brian. How you want someone just like me? But every time I ask you out, never move past friendly. There is so much going on with these sets. I'm slightly distracted by the video. Speaking of obvious, they all look great here, but I'm especially loving Nikki in this video. Love those delicate vocals from Shane. You know, that song kind of snuck up on me. It was really the chorus that did it for me. I did like it, to be clear, but I wasn't sure where it was going in the beginning. Then they just smacked me in the face with that incredibly catchy chorus. And I love how they approached that track vocally because they weren't overpowering one another. That said, Shane actually stole the show for me with that one. His ad lips at the end were... So well done, especially that little falsetto moment he gave us. As for the music video, well, they all looked hot, but I'm still confused, and I just have no idea what they were going for visually. And on that note, next up we have The Rose. Some say That drowns the tender Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love. I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's only seen, it's the heart, afraid of breaking. Okay, two things. One. 
this black and white video is so elegant. It's making me feel like I'm getting married, and I'm definitely not. <laughs> but two, Nikki is also catching my eye here. I suppose I've just not been paying enough attention to his looks, but he has a nice face. Of course, I'm a Marcus guy through and through, but they all look great and sound great in my opinion. In general, not just here. <laughs> I was wondering if they were going to bring in some drums. That choir is lovely. Surprisingly, that might just be one of my favorite music videos I've seen from them. I loved the way it was filmed and the high contrast black and white. Again, so elegant. It paired very nicely with the song. As for the song, I like that they kind of tricked us by bringing the drums in at the last minute, but they also added in a choir. Even though everything came in at the last minute, it still felt like a smooth, crescendo. That said, I am going to have to give it a few more listens to see how I feel about it because it didn't really jump out at me on the first listen, but again, I was quite distracted by the music video, so perhaps that has a bit to do with it. And lastly, we have Amazing. You're like a storm against the window Follow me around just like a shadow I'll swim a never-ending ocean Until you bring back your devotion It's like I live a thousand lifetimes Still looking for the one that feels right See, moving on just isn't This feels so Max Martin to me. It has that 90s backstreet feel. We 
That run Shane just did was very pretty. You better harmonize, gentlemen. Also, I definitely caught that key change. Kean really shocked me with his vocals there. I thought he did a great job harmonizing and doing those ad-libs towards the end. Also, the long hair kind of threw me off for a second. I was like, who is this man? And why has he suddenly appeared in a Westlife music video? But overall, I did also enjoy Amazing on my first listen. I still want to give it a few more listens to fully digest it. Perhaps my brain's just jumbled today and that's why I'm having trouble processing these songs, but either way, I am going through their albums, so eventually I will be able to focus on just these songs. My immediate favorites of this group would be Home and Obvious, and my favorite music video would be The Rose. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha.